the beat. So this event, just like any event in Guild Wars 2, dynamically scales. So as more players show up, this boss is actually going to get more difficult to stay at the same difficulty level. So no matter what, the fight is exciting based on the number of people that are there. Uh, 20, 40, 80, 100 people, this fight will scale up in difficulty for all of them. Uh, and this boss comes with a whole lot of different uh, layers and mechanics to him. So first off, uh, you'll notice this giant guy walking at us right there who uh, just exploded. Uh, those are bloated creepers that the dragon summons, and they are huge uh, undead abominations uh, that the players need to try to kill. And these bosses are going to walk towards you, and they're going to wind up and explode and send poison flying everywhere and kill everyone who's nearby. So you need to kill these guys before they get too close to you. Now the dragon summons what you can see behind you are these large bone walls. And he summons these walls to protect himself from the turrets that are in the background. Uh, so players want to destroy these walls here, so characters manning the turrets can actually get direct shots on the dragon. So there in the distance you're going to see there's some turrets that players are manning, and they can use these to fire at the dragon and do large amounts of damage to him. Now the whole time players are on these turrets, there are waves of undead that are coming in from the side, attacking the turrets and trying to destroy them. So another group of players needs to organize together and actually actively defend the turrets while people are fighting on the turrets, while another group of players is blowing up the bone walls, and another group of players is taking out the bloated creepers that are coming at you. Now during all of this, there are also guys who are repairing the turrets if they get destroyed, and players need to defend those guys and help resurrect them if they die to keep them alive. So as you can see, this battle has a whole lot of different layers to it, giving the players choice of how they want to play the game, what kind of character they want to play in this battle, and giving them a lot of roles that they can switch between while they're actively fighting the dragon here. Now there is one final piece to this battle, and you can see it counting down right now, and that is the Asura Mega Laser, uh, and we're running towards that right now. Uh, at certain intervals of health, the Mega Laser begins to charge up, and it unloads onto the dragon, if players are able to defend it, and the dragon is now stunned, and he stays stunned for about 15 seconds, and all the players can run up, unload a whole bunch of damage on him, and then they need to get back out of there by the time the dragon recovers. So you can see the Mega Laser is charging again already, and players need to defend that laser so he can get another shot off. So that's one more layer to this large boss fight that's going on. Uh, and as I said, there could be hundreds of players running around doing this event all at the same time, all in different parts of this battle, doing the different layers to the battle that uh, have been set up for them. You can see there's, it looks like there's a good 30, 40, maybe 50 players running around in here right now fighting the dragon. Uh, as people log on to the machines here, there'll be even more joining in. So there's a bone wall the dragon has summoned to help protect himself from the turrets. Uh, and as the fight goes on, he starts to summon more and more bone walls to make it harder to take him out. So when he flies up in the air like that, he drops a bunch of little poison balls on the ground, and that's where the bloated creepers rise up out from, and they start marching forward towards the players and you need to take them out. So one final mechanic that you'll run into in this battle uh, is there are little tendrils, which are fingers of the dragon that he summons up from the ground. And the little tendrils will grab players and they will fling them back towards the dragon where the dragon devours them. So here's one of those there. And so players need to try to destroy these uh, so that they don't get flung off of the turrets back by the dragon. And more and more of these start to show up as the battle progresses as well. Oh, 
Oh, and they've got the dragon. He's going down. Here he goes. And he drops down to the bottom of the ocean there. And everybody gets a giant chest that they get their rewards from for killing the dragon. So. There you go. All right. So that is one of our uh, one of our large boss encounters in Guild Wars 2. Uh, as I said, that is one of our small dragons. Uh, there are much, much larger ones than that. Uh, and uh, I hope all of you get a chance to check out the demo. Thank you very much for coming today.